Hello my friends And welcome to the filthy lanes of North Cornwall I'm afraid I haven't had much time for putting videos together recently and it's going to be a few more weeks before I'm back to normal I'm trying to sort a few things out at home but I just thought I'd knock this quick video together which is likely to only interest those of you with a Royal Enfield Himalayan now I did a review on the bike a few months ago and at the end of the review I briefly mentioned how filthy the bike gets despite having two front mud guards now if I was a professional I would have done a before and after video because I think I've come up with a, a resolve anyway let's bomb along these dirty lanes for a bit and then I'll find a maybe a gateway with a view and I'll show you what we're talking about Now up until now, at any point riding along these lanes at over 20 miles an hour, you could see the filth flying up off the front mud guard and coming back at the bike. And within yards, the headlight would be covered and the fuel tank would be covered in the filth off the road. bike's coming up for its 3,000 mile service very soon I haven't decided if I'll do that myself or uh, get the shop to do it but I've just put a new back tyre on the, the, the original Seat was worn out after 2,850 I managed to squeeze out of that and I've replaced it with a Pirelli which I'm hoping we'll do a bit better. This will do us. Look at this. Bloody disgusting, isn't it? Why would you drive here to dump your rubbish when you could have just driven to the tip? Here we are, not exactly a gateway with a view, but a gateway with a view of rotting vegetables which has been stinking since the summer. This is obviously a field that never got picked. What a waste. But that ain't a bad view. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about with the bike getting so filthy. This is what was concerning me mainly because the water off the road or the mud off the road would wash all up the front of the tank and go in here around the headstock and obviously inside the fuel tank there. I don't know if I can get a good view of that. Not really. But obviously I ride this bike through the winter and I really didn't want the road salt getting up in here where it can't be washed off very easily. So, I have added 
a T-H-E mountain bike mudguard to the front. And that has stopped, I would say, oh, 90%, maybe 91.2% of all the filth washing up inside the fuel tank there. And it also keeps the headlight clean. I'm sure you think it looks a bit odd, maybe. Just like another bit stuck on. But the whole bike looks like it's just been stuck on. Anyway, small modification. Let's work in wonders. I'm delighted with it. I've just bolted it on, drilled two holes for the original guard, bolted it on with some number plate screws. Could have done with black ones, but... Bear in mind, I've been riding this to work all week on filthy roads, wet days, and normally this would be absolutely covered up the front of the tank, it'd be washing back. Like I say, it's 90% better. So there you go. Just a quick one, like I said. Thank you very much for watching. Do let me know what you think in the comments. I'm not easily offended. Now until next time, take care, ciao for now, bye bye.